All right, so we're going to get to see some Bind here. Bind, of course, you know, being a heavy favorite amongst a lot of the, the teams here because mm -hmm. it it's not too heavily, you know, CT or T-sided. I yeah, feel like it's way not. more balanced. Definitely than not, two. as opposed to something with, like, uh, the zip map. Like, Split is definitely more favored to CT. But um, Nobody likes Split. <laughs> yeah, Split is definitely... It really depends on which side you get put on. If you get put on CT at the beginning, you definitely have a lot more of an advantage. I don't like being on attack at the beginning because you get put in a really difficult spot with the late game defense. So definitely feel a lot more pressure. Yeah, no, definitely. All right, and we are underway. We got Pog with uh, Raze, Brimstone, Cypher, Sage, and Breach, and then Big Chungus. We got... Almost a mirror match here, aside from uh, Rays versus Phoenix. Now, granted, both duelists mm -hmm. in their own regards. Um, yeah. so as far as matchup goes, yeah, pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar matchup. You do tend to favor the Phoenix, though, just because he can provide a little bit more uh, in terms of the flares, the wall placement, and his ultimate is just so useful. Yeah, yeah, he, he plays definitely more for the team mm -hmm. as opposed to yeah. Raze's kit. Definitely not just like a Call of Duty player like uh, Raze. <laughs> Halo Ra 2 Rockets. Raze's, yeah, Raze's <laughs> a Call of Duty Halo 2 character, yeah. I mean, it's pretty fun though. Yeah, oh no, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I like playing Raze. I'm not I'm not complaining, but Yeah, but she's she's definitely out of the norm from from all the other kits mm -hmm. on here. But it's it's I guess kind of refreshing sometimes to have uh something a little out of place. Yeah, really surprised. One thing we did not see today at all, at least on stream, was Jet. So really surprised that's one duelist. Um a little more of a solo queue style pick, so oh, yeah. not really gonna see her tonight. Her kit is for her purposes only. Yeah. <laughs> A uh, really ballsy pick. Oh, this is one of those creative camera placements that we've seen come through here on Bide. Yeah, hard to pinpoint, hard to, to peek in and take out, being behind that uh, the drapery. Oh man, nice shots coming out. Get the early wall bang. Do you have the rays coming in on the back side? Nice heal coming in inside of Pog, but unfortunately, Stage is not taken down. Ooh, Good headshot. nice headshot coming out of Proximal. 2v1. Oh. oh. Good try. Good try. But, you know, pistol rounds, it's always fun. Unfortunately, he won't get that spike down oh. for that extra point. <laughs> Gotta be a little quicker than that. Yeah, that's a feels bad. Definitely showed off a little bit at the end, so didn't get that plant quite. But, um, yeah, we've definitely seen Zill excel on this Phoenix. That's one of the uh, champions we've seen him pick a couple times. To, I'm sorry, uh, we saw him pick in the last game. We've seen a couple games from Proximal. We've seen Jack is Dead on the uh, Sage every game. We've seen RD, uh, RSD, he's played a couple different champions, but Ziff's been on the Sage, I'm sorry, the Rays, and um, that Brimstone has been ZK's pick. Yeah, no, and, and ZK had a couple great plays earlier in the stream, actually. I believe I clipped one of them earlier. Uh, so I, I'm excited to see him in the later games on, a, on an op. <laughs> oh yeah, he was one of those people that was definitely popping people with the op. Um, I'm really excited to see Zick also used to pulling some ridiculous uh, race plays off. He had a big Halo 2 rocket earlier. <laughs> All right, so it looks like A maybe uh, peaked at great early big pick. Shot. We've been talking a little bit how the frenzy isn't as effective, but um, nice usage right there. And close quarters, it can be. You know, yeah, you that's have exactly a, the point the that we brought up earlier. Rate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We were mentioned a lot of people had using it today. Haven't been using it at exactly that close range. Ooh, really close. Proximal was really low though, so there's no way he was gonna win that trade. Ooh, zip with a big shot. It's beautiful. I thought she was gonna pop herself up for the way she threw that satchel out. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Popped it early though. Good distraction. Ooh, gets the frag back. Man. Yeah, Big Chungus, one member left. ZK, I'm sorry, Robert, rather, just trying to 1v3 here. Spike going down. Oh, he will go down. They got the defuse, so we are tied 1 1. Yeah, Economy I mean, looking pretty good on the side of Pog there. Yeah, can't complain about that. 
may see another econ round out of Big Chungus though. Looks like we got a shoddy in there. I'm not sure how I feel about, you know, shotguns because they're such close range weapons. Yeah, uh, they it, are. Um, okay, he sold it. <laughs> <laughs> like on the side of attack, it's just real hard to, to go in. Like I understand defense, you can hold those close corners, but yeah, going I'm in on attack is makes not a lot of sense. Yeah, Zill moving in should be able to find something with this marshal. He has been deadly. Ooh, really close. Just a bit out. Waiting for another peek. <laughs> Will they be so daring? I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably. Actually, Proximal was the one he peaked, so uh, backed all the way up already. <laughs> smart, smart. Can't blame that. I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, Big Chungus try to move over to A, but there are three members over there. Haven't seen much success on the B side here for Big Chungus. Mm, yeah. Jo Mock making some noise over in uh, Hookah, trying to draw some something out. Or just having a real hard time jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Got the spike. Let's see what they decide to do. Still pretty well spread out. Only uh, 35 seconds left on clock, but it looks like they're making a play for A. Yeah, Jack is dead just trying to hold showers. Might have some action coming through. Four members, uh, sorry, three members here on A short. Good wall. Ooh, 13 seconds left. Able to find the kill. Jack is dead. Will get the heal back onto themselves. Teleport taken. Trying to get back. Ooh. Oh. Really nice kill there. Zill trying to. Oh, man. Proximal gets the kill. Oh, timer expires. They are able to find those last minute kills. And a nice round from Pog. They don't lose anyone. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of surprised that Big Chungus didn't just take out the wall in mm. that instance. I mean, you're down, what, 20 seconds? 20 something seconds at that point, um, you know, to, to do a full rotate and risk the timer. I mean, he, even if he had started as soon as he got there, I don't know if that plant would have actually happened. Yeah, they definitely lost a lot of time. Couple members moving B long, but no one has the spike. Okay, spike is dropped mid again. Yeah, and a really good job here for Pog, realizing that they don't have to be the ones to push. We've seen that a couple times from a few defense teams where they just overextend and get taken out. Making some noise over at A while they get some intel over at B. There are three over to B, though, so it looks like that might be the play. Keep the other two over at... You know, A distracted. Well, the three over at A distracted, but there, there is a rotate coming through. Yeah, making that hard rotate to B. Grab that spike, moving it through Hookah. Crab Chung is trying to find su the success through B, but they haven't they even really tried to push A. And again, B just kind of letting that clock tick down. Now they're going to start making some moves B here. If Aftershot comes through, won't quite hit Proximal. Able to sidestep it, even though he's in the... Uh, oh, man. Down to 5 HP. Gets flanked by Zill. Gets the spike down. And this is a 2v5. We are in just... This is really high intensity. That's a wall. <laughs> Wow, and getting wall banged with the sheriff. Oh, man. Feels bad. <laughs> yeah, Jack is dead, popping off with that pistol. The timer is coming down for, for Pog to, to be able to defuse this, and he understands that, so he'll be running away trying to save what he can. Yeah, might find himself a last minute kill, but better to just save himself that gun. More importantly, his shield, really. I don't think you'll, we'll see him using that Spectre next round. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a thousand thousand credits. That's not jump change oh, for to sure. buy out every round. Ooh, Ziff grabs the op. 
And that has been a very effective weapon for him. We'll see what they can do. Get those early picks. So tied 2-2. Two, two. And looks like Big Chungus will start off on the side Stay of B. Michael. Try to get some intel. Yeah, Ziff has this op. He's been peeking in that corner a couple times today. So we'll have to see if he has any more success on that. Proximal weird clip camera there. Sif grabbing the alt orb does have the rocket available now, and that puts Big Chunkus in a dangerous spot. I have broke the spike. Kesa just kind of watching for those flanks, making sure no one's coming around the back way. A lot of teams kind of forget that sometimes. <laughs> I'm surprised we keep seeing a 3A when they know that they're just going to push B every time. Never know though. You never know. It's mind games. This game. This game actually this has game quite a bit all, of mind this games. This game's all dude. mind games. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it, it does kind of remind me of uh, a little bit of Rainbow Six. You know, you'll mm -hmm. you'll have somebody, you know, like a, a thermite use his ability across the way. You know, mm. blow it over there and come in on another side. It's a bit about distraction, and uh, it's all mental. Yep, Zill pops the running back, trying to find himself something. Goes real low, pops himself back with the ultimate, and he is all good to go. Spike planted no members down. Actually, one and goes two go down right as I say something. Four of these four here. He didn't see him step outside of oh, the U-Haul. Man, that's what feels bad. Zill here. Three v4 for Pog. Pog in a decent position. Absolutely. You have Big Chungus pretty much all outside of A here while Pog are trying to bait oh, this out. Through. Oh no. Now oh, everybody man. better run. Yep. <laughs> Not able to find themselves anything with the rocket. Lots of wall shots coming through. Able to find themselves a raise. Oh man, but that is a big, big yeah. ground for Pog. Yeah, I mean, Chungus, the way that they were spread out, uh, you know, letting Pog move in and establish ground around that bomb really made it hard mm -hmm. for them to defend it. Essentially, when you spike the plant, you you switch from attack to defense. Yeah. And you kind of have to set yourself up for that and just, you know, put throwing, you know, two of them in showers just kind of hurt them in the, almost, where the position of the spike was. Yeah, and you almost need to start setting up as or before you're laying the spike. Because oh, yeah. once the spike goes down, you're, you're in a really deadly position. We'll see how big Chungus can kind of retaliate. Oh and they goodness. retaliate in the best way. For the Oh man. Early quick kill, but the revive does come through. Oh no, and quickly nope. taken out again. <laughs> Feels bad. Another <laughs> double headshot for Kasich there. And that is uh They busted <laughs> down that wall to get that kill real quick. <laughs> uh, that's that's really funny. Let's see what Big Chungus can do with that being up a five V four here, but things can turn around pretty quickly as we've seen. And that's honestly a lot invested for Pog also. Oh, absolutely. RS trying to catch someone who just hops over. Kaysid does not know. Off your feet! Off your feet! And we got the double breach ultimates coming through. <laughs> no one can see anything, but we're still hitting shots here. Oh, man. Great orbital strike orbital won't strike. get the kill, but good damage. Zill gets a double frag. Triple, I'm sorry, no, Jao Mac got that last kill. So just a really good job. Really even here. Absolutely. We're going back to back. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see punches thrown from either side as evenly as possible. And we're, we're seeing just that. Some great plays coming out from both sides. Some, you know, great minds think alike. You saw the, the double breach ultimates going at each other. This is some really great play, as we should see in uh, semis. And you have no one from Pog peeking showers this time. <laughs> Watching it from heaven instead. If they are 
um, just sorry, two members moving in on the A, three on A guarding it for Pog here. Big Chunk is having the spike on the ground, not exactly sure what they're looking to do. Big Chunk is just trying to get some intel down to uh, under a minute now. Looks like a slow rotation over to B. You now have four at A. That's a lot of commitment yeah. over at A here. Definitely. So if they move in hard and fast on B, it's going to be, you know, a full back rotation. But we do have a slow rotation to the backside from Pog now. And it looks like double cameras and hookah. So he should have the intel, but it looks oh, like he RS. might clip somebody over and, and mark it. Oh, RS gets peaked and he goes down. Four members moving over. Chung is getting two kills. Proximal able to pick himself up one though. I'm not sure if that, oh, that grenade. Kind of went in. So Spike is now being planted here, but Big Chungus, as soon as they got that first pick, moved in hard and fast. Yeah, 5v3 exactly here for Big Chungus. Cypher out coming down. This will be massive information. One member still in spawn. And I'm not sure if Pog even knows where Chungus is. One member up on the top side does take a little bit of damage there for the raise. <sighs> Pog will manage to, to make this a 3v4 now. The, t the clock is ticking down. Yeah, clock is ticking. Couple members up in spawn, and this might be Chunkus' round. Yeah, grab yep, a you gun just need and to go. get out, run. Run, get out of my way. Run. <laughs> oh, oh no, sorry, I don't Ziff. think Raze is going to make it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. <laughs> nice try, nice try. Oh, that feels bad. All right, it's Big Chungus uh, taking the lead here, 3 4. Let's see if uh, Pog can come back swinging again. Yeah, Proximal has his ultimate, so they'll be able to get the knowledge on this use. Uh, see if they'll, they're able to find an early kill to get that Cypher ult down. Yeah, and, and Zill and Robert are one away from getting their ultimates too. And Orbital Strikes are just so necessary mm -hmm. when it comes <laughs> to the points, whether it's defending or attacking on them. Uh, it, they're just they're just amazing. And I'm, I'm kind of surprised that Orbital Strike is still a six-point ultimate. Yeah, I think <laughs> they should probably nerf it a little bit, add another point to it. But yeah, it's it's really impactful. Yeah, I, I mean, if you if you put your your top bragger on somebody like Brimstone, you're getting it almost every what two, two maybe three three rounds. Yeah, I always like to see like a sage on a top fragger though get that res up all the time that's really nice oh yeah uh thanks choice plays i turned the big three one today happy birthday thank you <laughs> all right clearing up that cubby Zill popping all, trying to get some intel on this back elbow. Yep, Zill moving in on the backside. Takes a little bit of damage, but did pop the ultimate. Watches his teammate go down. Oh. He gets the spike, but he also goes down. Pog tying it up 4-4. Four, four. Wow. I mean, that was, that was the alt investment there, but I mean... You do have Robert on the side of Big Chungus Orbitals, his up, but you have Orbital and uh, the Neural from Cypher ready on Pog. So we'll see how the the Orbitals come into play here. Sometimes I like to see the double Orbitals go through, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's, it's great. I like to see the usage, whether they use it as um, a stop or a hold. Robert uh, moving in does have the orbital available. I have to see how they decide to use this. I have a couple members moving in on A short, one distracting with Hookah. Looks like Pog has been a really big fan of this 2 3. Yeah, and that's the typical. You know, 2 3, A, a is a little more spread out. Your, mm -hmm. your entry points are really far apart. Yeah. Uh, whereas B, you know, they're kind of side by side. You can sit in the back and kind of watch both of yeah. them here. A lot easier to position on the B. Um, they've been playing really slow. Yeah, they, they typically wait till it gets under a, a minute to make a move here. 
It's it's those mind games, you know? Mm -hmm. Mind games. They're just trying to wait stuff out as long as they can. Zill trying to move in. Teleporter gets activated. Catches one in U-Haul. They pick on that, doing some self-healing here. And you have, uh, you know, Big Chungus in the short and in the showers. Yep, one member moving up into heaven for Pog. And a 5v3 here, so Big Chungus definitely at the advantage. Yeah, Big Chungus actually has a back flank slowly but surely making their way around uh, backside there. But Pog down to one member already. Going to have to make a decision here. Looks like he... Is sneaking up to, to make something yeah, happen. Yeah, but it's on but the other side of the wall. I think he might just need to run. Yeah, it looks like that's the choice here. You know, smart move of him to get out of heaven. Maybe he smelled that, you know, that rat sneaking up on him. <laughs> <laughs> Look for some outs here. Yep, no one will get caught, but... Pretty good econ across the board for Big Chungus. All right, and again, punches being thrown back and forth, four or five. Yeah, this is uh, semifinals choice, please. <laughs> I hear, I hear you, Paul. It's been a long day, Paul. Sorry, bud. <laughs> back and forth it's going to be a long match <laughs> but who knows i mean maybe when the side swap happens you know some teams are better on defense than they are attack and vice versa mm -hmm. uh so it's just it's it's kind of hard to tell sometimes yeah and pog definitely likes to play a lot faster on attack so we'll have to see how they uh decide to play once we have the side swap but we're not even eh, we're kind of close to it we're round 10 here Lots of shots coming through A short, just trying to sweep out people if they can. Not quite finding anyone though. Well, oh, I'm sorry, they did actually find the opposing cipher. Yeah, over in Hookah. So making lots of noise at A, gonna slow rotate back to B. Oh, Proximal is a great camera. They're about to walk into Hookah. Oh, he switched back. Cage trigger, cage trigger. All right, so the move from A to B is already happening. They will take out. Oh, they Ooh, took out double two kill in the coming process. through. Yep, ZK just trying to get the local strike down. Ooh, headshot comes through before that. Zip doing. Yeah, I'm sorry, Zip doing a nice job. Another orbital strike coming through. All of these buildings coming through. <laughs> Rocket comes through. <laughs> this is a big round. Normally you don't see this until round 12. Oh, and they might not have seen that that position there. So Big Chungus just need to kind of play some time here. Don't have a whole lot to defuse. Off your feet! But the off your feet will knock her off of there. She did get it halfway though, so if she survives this and gets killed, but oh, unfortunately oh, not. Big yeah. Chungus pulling ahead. Between the suppression from the ultimate followed up by the flare, really easy kill there for Breach. Oh, yeah. I mean, Bre Breach's ultimate is, I mean, it's not, like, it's devastating. Like, it's really hard to see, but you're not completely blinded. But it does knock you out of whatever position you're in. So mm -hmm. if you're in a cubby, you're exposed, you're slowed, everything's cloudy. And, and then you <laughs> stack that flare on top of it, and it's just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, Breach is... is uh, he, he's he's becoming more of a favorite for me. Um, I'm a, I'm a Brim main, but I mean Brimstone's also like S tier, so he's mm -hmm. just he's just great utility. But I'm starting to see a lot more breaches now. Um, you know, at first I feel like a lot of people didn't realize what his kit was meant to do. Yeah, they didn't <laughs> realize how how good it is. That you didn't realize that you can shoot those flares from a distance. Can shoot a lot yeah. of his abilities from a distance. Yeah, Even yeah. his um just his general knockback has a ton. Just a massive range. You can pretty much hit people across the map if you aim it right. Oh, absolutely. But that comes with the evolution of the game, you know. We are still mm -hmm. beta, it's been out for a whole month, and we've already seen so many changes. 
Just different abilities being used different ways. Um, map utilization. Yeah, people are realizing height advantage, stuff like that. Yeah, it's really great to see. I love it. Can't wait for this game to be on full release this summer. Hoping this summer. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. 2v5 here. I'm sorry, 2v4 here for Pog. And there is no one on B, so this should be an easy plant. And there's still a person from Pog at A. They didn't quite know what was happening just yet. Spike has not been planted. So this is a 1v4 situation for a while until uh, the other member of Pog... Uh, was that residue or RSD34 can get over there? <laughs> yeah, once he can get over there, it does have the ultimate available, so might be able to do something with that, but they might just be looking to save here. Yeah, he's cre yeah, he's he's slow crept to the back and it's just not worth it. Yep, around eleven here, moving into the last point before the half. We'll see if ZK tries to get a creative kill. Just has himself that frenzy. Yeah, so he's he's okay with trying to at least catch a catch a break. Yeah, he's trying to out. catch a headshot. <laughs> All right, and the score will be seven four now. Last game of the round, or last game of the hatch, but half. <laughs> 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 yeah, we should see everyone spend up lots of ultimates available, and we do have um, res available on the side of. Did you already switch? No, next round. Sorry, bud. I was about to say. This is round 12. Uh, all right. So, yeah, yeah Big, Big Chungus does have their res up, so that'll definitely be helpful. Um, one point off for Jack is dead, though, so he might be able to get himself that ult point. Yeah, but, yep, Reach Ultimate and uh, Neural for the side of Pog. Yeah, so Pog definitely looking to just get an early kill with that Cypher, trying to get a lot of information. I'll put the camera up even further this time. I didn't even realize there was a hole yeah, up there. Yeah, we've seen a lot. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these <laughs> camera placements today because of that. The ribbons right there, you can't see it. All right, so looks like a full commitment to B. Nobody even trying to make noise today. And they sense that there's not three at B. Yep, moving in through hookah. 5v5 here. Might see some ultimates get used soon. Cage gets tripped. Does but Spike did head over to A through teleporter. Yeah, I'm not sure if they realized that they did send one more member back to A. Off your feet! And they're just chilling in there. Yep, Breach Ultimate comes out. Well, I'm sorry. Yeah, we'll get some knockups. Cage three. Over. So that's really good. Baiting out the breach all before making a full rotation over the oh, to yeah. uh, A. Really I hard to plant with that ult. Oh man, right. Great, great clip through the boxes there. Great attempt, but I don't think Chungus is going to be able to pull this one out there. Yeah, they will bring it a little closer at the half. Not quite even, but... Yeah, 7-5, I mean, I see that a lot. I mean, two matches off in this game, it's... it's I, way I don't closer even... than some of the ones we've seen so yeah. far. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even count that as a deficit sometimes, you know. These matches go by so quick. You blink and there's three rounds. Oh, yeah. Um, and we did mention that Big Chunk, I'm sorry, that uh, Pog likes to play a lot more aggressive on the attack. So we'd like to see how this first round goes for them. They've been pretty efficient with their pistol rounds. A lot of Chungus fans here in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Hi. Looks like a heavy favor over to the B side. One scoping out A, probably gonna make some noise, but we are. Kind of moon booting, not being afraid to, to put oh some yeah. noise over there. Yep, Jack just trying to get an early headshot. Um, good defense, though. S standard 2 3 that we've seen coming out. Spike sitting back towards B split. Oh, some slows, oh, but she ran out and put herself it. out in danger without clearing that corner. You can't run a run across a, a corridor without <laughs> having yeah. a everyone rotating over to B, but they might just be stuck now. 
I'm not sure if they'll even be allowed to leave. It's pistol round, you know. If you don't, what are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely not not the worst round to have this happen to you in, but uh Yeah, they use some util to, to bust out here. It's a three V five situation. See what they can get into. Yep, Zill on the backside, trying to find a pick if he can, but not sure where anyone is. Smoke's down. Lay down some coverage. No charges left. 3v3. It looks like they're getting ready to back out. Oh, fantastic last sweep. Pog picks up all three. Oh, man, that was Peach, brutal. Peach, I took a servo from your arms for my tripwire. Don't be angry. All right, chat. So when you're when you're saying, you know, Chungus, Chungus, is is it kind of like Matilda when she's saying singing Brucey, Brucey, you know, it's <laughs> Chungus, Chungus. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So score now seven six, and the punches keep getting returned. This is what I like to see here. I want to see some outplays. I can't wait for round three. You know, when people can get some real guns in their hands. Oh yeah. See what they can do. Once we can get to an op round, that'll be exciting. All right, no intel just yet from either side. Never mind. We got a two picks on the side of Pog moving in on Chungus here. Make that three. And Pog will slide into B side uncontested, honestly, and they will just kind of hang back over at A. And just kind of wait, you know, wait it out. They understand it's a 2v5 situation. No need to give any more money or, you know. Yep, four members over on B. We have one uh, member of POG just trying to do a little bit of flanking. Might catch out Robert here. I was going to say they're going to see each Ooh. other in this corner. <laughs> 1v5. Not sure what Zill can do. Probably just going to back out. Doesn't even have anything really worth saving, though. No, <laughs> he does just have the pistol. Gonna the sneak his bad. way back here. Can't even find himself another gun to grab. Nope. Oh. Any fresh bodies? <laughs> it's the only the only time grave robbing is acceptable. Okay, <laughs> is in this game. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of role playing games, it's pretty acceptable. <laughs> Oh, and he is able to get one before he's taken out himself. Yeah, at least it won't be a flawless. I'll take it. Yeah, take what you can get. All right, so now we got some got some guns on the side of uh, Pog here, as well as the side of Big Chungus. Yeah, mostly Bulldogs for Pog, but getting some Vandals and Phantoms coming in for uh, Big Chungus. Yeah, and if Big Chungus does not win this, they're going to be flat broke. Whereas you can see on the side of Pog, they still have some cash to, to kind of work with yeah, even after that. Yeah, have a little bit of room to spare. Not for all of them. But Bulldog's a great gun just for the one taps. I mean, if yeah, you're... Yeah, if you're able to get that one tap, it's really nice. Yeah. And the burst is a little forgiving, too. Oh, absolutely. Healing All point gets taken. At one point, did lose a member of Big Chungus. Did not see them go down. Me either. But you do have a second person rotating over to B, just in case. Spike is still over in um, short B here. Yeah, it looks like they might just rotate back to A. Thinking about it. Playing that slow game. We are under a minute now. And they are doing a rotate. Making a lot of noise. And there's a second rotate over to B that that's going to be a big mistake here. Oh Leaving man. poor Robert to defend A all by himself. Going to be Lots stuck in a games. molly. Oh, gets caught in the molly and the slow. It's unfortunate. So quick rotation from the other players back on over to A. Fortunately, Robert is highly damaged. No, no sage around for the, any heals. Taken oh, out. Nice kill from RSD. Just moved into U-Haul, trying to find some pressure if he can. We'll take down U-Haul, I'm sorry, we'll get taken down from U-Haul as Zip gets, picks up the double kill. Yeah, I'm not able to get a couple picks himself. 1v3 situation, though. Yeah, 
1v3 not looking too good. Takes a little bit of damage from the blast pack and will just get headshot. The peek over the U-Haul, that was beautiful. The pistol headshot for the last kill, that's disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> and just like that, Pog now up 8-7. See what uh, Chungus can do as far as their defense comes. Uh, you know, looking looking a little slow on some rotations. Pog able to you know to get in pretty quickly and plant without any um, I need to blow something up. Uh, pushback. Honestly, yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> like you mentioned, Chungus lost that round, so they are just really hurting economically this round. Wow, and Pog oh, su pushing. Surprising out. to see, yeah. Really surprising to see the defensive team push. have not seen a lot of this today. Yeah, I mean. Oh, man. We'll lose <laughs> two, three. Oh, man. And that is just a mistake. You wow. can't be pushing on the pistol round. <laughs> if that was a rifle round, it probably would have gone differently. But, oh, man. They were like, let's just get it over with. And. <laughs> oh, man. They were like, we're sick of these slow rounds. Let's just do this. Well, I mean, it could be. It's Sometimes it's a nice tactic. It's a change of pace. You mm -hmm. surprise the enemy team because you're on defense and you're rolling out with a breach. So, I mean, when it works, it feels great. When it doesn't, you're just like, yeah, all right. I probably won't do it again. It's typically <laughs> something you do when you're more ahead, though. Not when you're uh, pretty, pretty close and there's this much money on the line. He's getting an nice early pick on Pog, shot. though. Nice recovery there. It took a little bit of damage, but has the healing orb able to get themselves back? Here in those footsteps. Yeah, RS moving in. Two members pushing up to A short, but three Spike currently top. on A. And he passes that off to Brimstone. Uh, looks like he's going to lay some smoke down mid, maybe try to play some mind games here and rotate back to B. Could be wrong. I'm not in their comms. Just making assumptions. Yeah, just waiting <laughs> to see how the rest of this plays out. Like you mentioned, other than that last round, we've been playing really slow today, at least for this match. Yeah, I mean, we're in semis. We're close to money. No one wants to lose now. It's still a best of one. Big Chungus Joke's playing over. back Put now. Much different from their last one. All right, Brimstone. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, Breach Ultimate coming cipher. out. Ace is unable to see anything. That is such a long stun. Oh, yeah. I mean, it takes a while to get to you. You see the ground Aftershock cracking. So. Still hits him. Oh, man. I have this bike. All right, going to have to plant here. You have to plant. Come on. And I don't know if I that was enough too late. time. They were killed out anyway. So big chungus. Even in a back up Punching a little it bit. Back. Yeah. <laughs> and they have themselves that nice econ, able to self save themselves the operator. And they also had a phantom and a vandal on top of that. So just put themselves in a really nice position for the next round or two. Yeah. I mean, you have uh, Yif on the side of Pog sitting at 11K. So, you know, even if, uh, you know, losing that round, they could possibly even lose another one and still have pretty good economy to go around here. Oh, crap. I didn't realize how late it was. I got to go. All right. I'm going to go get Big Boss. I will be right back. All right. We'll get Big Boss in here. Cage triggered. They found my wire. Oh, and a huge grenade coming out, damaging Zill. Not too much, though, down to 82 health. Spike has been planted. This is a 3v5 situation, though. Let's see what Big Chungus can do. They may just think about saving here. Nick and Snow is able to get a kill. Yeah, and you got the rest. Two other teammates just going to sit back, hold on to their guns. They get a little time to play with. I mean, it'll be 8-10 after this. Uh, so not going to be too worried. But Big Chungus, uh, definitely the, the way that they played that last 
hold was uh, was very beautifully played. They were more patient. I know some some teams when they swap from attack to defense have a hard time, you know, coming down off that high of attacking. Absolutely, it's, a, it's a, you have to adjust. You have to pay, play at a different kind of pace, and really adjust uh, your strategy. So we see Ziff with the operator, uh, Vandals on the side of Pog, and a Phantom on Jack sided. So Big Chungus defending here. Pog gonna go for another quick attack and see how they fare. Satchel out. Satchel out. Nothing. Ziff trying to spot that one. It does not see anything. There are no members of Big Chungus looking down at B Long. And no one, no one peeking this. Cage getting ready to uh, put that wall up. Definitely waiting to put that wall up. They do have intel that there are two in Hookah. Slow placed. We do see a roamer coming in from spawn. Moving over to B. There is only two members currently on B site. And Pog taking down that wall, so that's going to give some intel to Big Chungus. They don't full commit a rotation off of A just yet, nope. which is smart. You see the, the spike kind of making its way over to A. So we do see a rotation going through mid. They got the information that they needed at B. Ooh, and a frag coming in with that grenade kill. Yonald taken out by Ziff. And the spike rotates immediately over to B. So now that we should be seeing a rotation off of A here. Smokes are down. That that flank will be covered. Aggressive push on the site. No plant yet. Plant going through, as I said. And a TP coming through. No wall banks, flash me out. Ooh, and Robert will win that exchange. All right, big Chungus. Uh, it is 4 4. Hellfire dropped. No members caught. Pog winning the exchanges right now. Robert will take Jack sided. Prepare for Hellfire. All right, they're not going to have a whole lot of time here to defuse. And Jailmock getting that frag. Ooh, and Robert covering his teammate. Absolutely great teamwork and communication from Big Chungus. Jailmock taking the leap of faith, saying, hey, bud, I know you're low, but cover me. And they got it done. <laughs> it's a great job from Big Chungus to defend that point on B. Yeah, and now it's 9-10. The punches are just back and forth. It's so refreshing to see such a heavy-hitting match here. Absolutely. It's great back and forth. Great strats, just all around great play from both teams. You know, we saw earlier that play from Pog where they lured a bunch of team members into mid and the slow was thrown and then just cleared out mid and took them all out. So we just some great strats, great stuff, great communication for both teams. Kaysen looking for a pick with that operator. Nobody beat long though. Looks like the spike is in mid. Am I going to give away that intel? Tremor out. Yonald, we'll see that cypher. Holding down sights, looking for a peak. Here it comes. Oh my God. Shooting through that wall. That bomb <laughs> is being played at short A. Only one member from Pog playing hookah. Ooh, and instantly taken out by Yonald, who was holding that angle very precisely and patiently. So team members on Pog have not rotated. They still maintain their position over by uh, short A and spawn area. Two members of Chungus still remaining at B. No rotations yet. And it looks like... I think they're still trying to figure out the play. Looking for some more intel, but... A is pretty strong. Z Zill almost hit with that concussion. Looks like we got to slow rotate back over to B. Playing patiently here, but we are down to 35 seconds here. So once they start going to B, there will be almost no turning back. Yep, unless they take Telly. And this is a 5v4 situation. Number of from Big Chungus have... Uh, changed over to A. Joke's Jack over. will res proximal. TP coming out. Instantly flank Fire. over to Hookah. Oh, got the raise ultimate coming out. And Let's ZK taking out Yonald. Oh, goodness. Spike Planet Ziff gets Kaysen with that alt. Who was trying to wall bang and trying to get something, but nothing was going down. Ziff taking on another member. Ooh, oh, no. and Zill hitting that wall and flashing himself. Ooh, but takes out Proximal. Jailmock taking out Jack. Ziff going down from Jailmock's Vandal. Oh, my oh, goodness. Zill with the wall bang. Oh, my goodness. 
trade going through. One on one, but RSD34 takes out JMOC and the end in that crazy, crazy skirmish at the end between both teams. Great stuff. All that action happening in the last Pog. 20 seconds. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it looked like Big Chungus was going to take that round, but Paul came through and finished it up. So great stuff from both teams. Um, it's really just ha it happened in 30 seconds. It's yeah. absolutely insane. <laughs> what plays could occur? So uh, just teams communicating, uh, trying to make plays happen, and absolutely just great stuff. Great stuff tonight here at semifinals between Big Chungus and Pog. Let's see who makes it to finals. All right, nine eleven 11 here. And we've got the, the typical 3-2 split. Nothing else changing here. Spike dropped over behind A. Camera set in hookah. We got Movement happening through showers. Zill catching Ziff. Molly out. Jack taking out Zill through a wall bang. Here it is. Interaction. Oh, and ZK I know exactly taking advantage right there on Robert's missed. Blind. Nothing. Oh, and misses that shot, and Proxima will take out Jamok. And this is a save round for the side of Big Chungus here. Absolutely. So they really just all had sheriffs trying to make the most of it, but unfortunately their, their shots did not land. So, Pog will plant the spike. Yonald, uh, make it an aggressive play here, oh, but won't make anything happen as Jack takes out Yonald with that Vandal. And here we are. Pog. Match point. Match point now. <laughs> Big Chungus needs to pull through. Econ not looking so good. Mm -mm, but able to, to, to pick up an op uh, on, on Kaysid. Going to watch that long B this time. Absolutely. And. Currently, Pog, they didn't opt in for an op. And they're just going to play all Vandals. Uh, they only have one match to win. And they'll move on to finals and play for that $1,000 prize pool. So let's see who comes on top. Let's see if Big Chungus can make it happen because we know it's possible. And Kaysid has their all for, with the res. So, you know, peaking this with an op, uh, oh if they don't win this exchange and they go down, this is going to be really tough. Ooh, Yonel can cuss. Camera taken out. They have the intel. They know someone's in there. Roomba going through. Long B, nothing there. Yonald watching that angle. Has to be careful. A lot of members of Pog rotating towards B. Bog, uh, Spike still by teleporter. Slow rolling. He does have that rolling other, so it's a good initiation if he needs it. Ooh, and Ziff gets it through the smoke. Wow. Absolutely crazy spam. Feels bad. You know, Big Chungus, uh, you know, they do have that res available. And then Rotate needs to come through, honestly. Robert taking it out, Jake. That's great. Taking out their healer. Rotation. Ooh, Ziff taking out Yonald quickly. And Bomb still by short. Hookah. Two members of Big Chungus. Hanging out back site. Yeah, unfortunately, Kesa. Okay, Kesa was actually able to, to reach somebody to get that res. Wow, an exchange happening. And Robert with a 3K, 4K, and winning that round great against Paul. Great turnaround. So great turnaround. That alt from Kesa uh, admit all the difference to really even up the battle between Big Chungus and Pog. So great stuff from Big Chungus to really defend because they are on tournament life right now. Oh, Match yeah. point. So uh, great stuff, great stuff. And they spend a lot of money too, you know, a majority of money to, to stay in uh, that round. Kaysid opting in for the op. Bulldog, Yonald, unfortunately. Yeah, we do have ultimates. Uh, Robert has his ultimate. The orbital strike, as we've seen, has been just such a, a key ultimate when holding mm -hmm. a spike down or, you know, getting people to scurry out of uh, a position. Absolutely. <laughs> and you got Ziff, too, with their ult. And, you know, when you hear that, that ultimate noise go off, you it better the party. you better clear <laughs> out the way. So Yano does have a, his ultimate ready to gain some information if it does come to that point where he needs to... You know, find out where members of 
the pog r at so let's see how this fares we do see the bomb hanging around moving towards a rather than b uh, so they're probably communicating like hey guys where are we going what we're going to fill out first but a three two split three on a two on b and there's uh, got to be high you know it's it's 10 to 12 it's semifinals. And there is a pause, I believe. Yeah, we're, we're, we're on a pause. Probably figuring something out. Okay. Maybe a little breather. Oh, and there's an error chat room not connected right now, so we're unable to get that intel for you all, but hopefully we can figure this out. Hopefully somebody, I'm guessing, just had a connection error. Thanks for sticking around with this chat. would like to remind you that if it wasn't for you all, we would not be here doing this, doing these amazing tournaments. So make sure you uh, like and follow and share all of this and uh, get more people in here. The more, uh, the better. We have 128 teams to fill each week. So let's try to get them filled. Absolutely. 128 teams max, a $1,000 prize pool. And guess what? You don't have to pay a single dime to enter. Nope. All you got to do is just give us your Sunday, and you get to play video games for money. Mom, come on. <laughs> Should let me play video games more. It would have been better. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's Sunday bum day. Just play video games. It's great. But I know for sure it's not a bum day because these matches have been sweaty. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> so let's see if we can get an update between these teams. Um I'm sure there has to be some packet loss. Or and as you can see, error. there is an error chat room not connected as well in the in Valorant itself. But this is a, you know, it's beta. We're getting there. Slowly but surely getting there. My observer has been working hard all day trying to bring you the sickest flicks, the sweetest bangs all day long. So thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to the Valorant Sunday Showdown because it has been an absolutely hype day with both these teams showing up today and giving you all they can give. I know a lot of you are out there grinding, trying to get the Valorant rank. It's, it's a tough climb, but I know it's definitely worth it. Absolutely. Can we get some love for BY? BY15 in the chat. That's, you know. That's our observer. That's shout our out observer. To, <laughs> no, shout out to Ban Yoshi. Doing his thing. <laughs> working hard. <laughs> He doesn't understand. Yoshi's not the problem. <laughs> Maybe it's you. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's like so much tension going on <laughs> between these games. And we're just like, come on, guys. Oh, every, everyone was breathing deep, getting sweaty. Now you got some time to wipe your palms off. Yeah, but now we get to watch some sweet parkour. Look yeah. at these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Making the most of it. Knife fights in the mid now. <laughs> All right. We are still trying to get some intel from the teams. Comms. Can we look into uh, Jayomog's stream? Team? 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 <laughs> but thank you, everyone, for tuning in to the Valorant Sunday Showdown. This is number three of the weekly. Expect more of these Valorant Sunday Showdowns to happen throughout the month of May with the $1,000 prize pool every week. So every week, you get a chance to play for an awesome prize and also enjoy some great Valorant action. Or if anything, it's a great experience. You know, whether you think you're gonna or not, it, it's it's free. Grab a team, see what you guys can do, make your way through the gauntlet. Absolutely, join our community, have some fun, meet some new players, run some scrims, join our Discord, and interact with the community. Absolutely here for all of you who are tuning in and participating in these tournaments. Want to give you an absolutely exceptional experience 
And we are always open to your feedback. So please be sure to give us your feedback and make sure that you're interacting with the help and support because we are here for you and want to give you the best possible experience. And we had a restart going on the other side. So the pause will be coming undone very shortly, soon, TM. So once that happens, we'll be right back in it into this very close match between Big Chungus and Pog right here on the Valorant Sunday Showdown. I know the finals team is waiting right now for these two teams to finish it out. The anticipation is just killing us Absolutely. all. And the timer, the timer has restarted. We are back in it. Awesome. Bomb being placed over there in mid. So I'm assuming these teams had some time to communicate, think of some strats, and get a breather, calm their nerves. Two members of POG rolling through shower side. Yeah, we have a swap here. I mean, we have three over at bid, uh, over at B and two over at A now. Mm -hmm. And we do see a strong push on the side of A. Two members. It seems like they're going to get some intel over there in showers. Robert jumping up and down, trying to see a peek, trying to see a head. Get some intel for his, his teammates. Pog Oop. playing this nice and slow, though. Yeah, we see Pog making a transition towards mid, converging. Ooh, wow. and the pick from Sip. Absolutely crazy reactions. That was clean, and they're going to move in so fast now. Big yep. Chungus has to move their butts. Alt coming in. Great alt placement. And he was able to pick one off there. With a molly, yes. Wall placed. Fire they're going to have to go through U-Haul. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You don't want to be in there when that out goes off. No, you do not. He's trying to look for it. Oh, the smoke's dangerous. It is very dangerous, but still behind it. So, no, nobody. They need anybody with that ult. Big Chungus is down two members. Pog may lose their healer. If she's not careful, but Proxima will be taken out. We'll take out Robert. Jamal takes out Ziff. And, oh no, and there's not enough time not enough for time. Big Chungus, so this will go to the side of Pog. GG's Big Chungus. An absolutely crazy play from Pog. They got that early pick, told all their team members converge onto A, and absolutely were just That was a drive-by headshot. Onto A. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they, 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 they got the early kill. They moved on to A. They planted the wall, planted Spike, mm -hmm. smoked, and we're just like, all right, guys, come in. We have this raise alt. If you do it, GG. Yeah, and that was the one time where they moved one person from A over to B. They put the extra body at B, and lo and behold, Pol Pog, Pog just went hard you in at A. You just never know. You just <laughs> never know. So great showing from Pig, Big Chungus making it to semifinals in the Valorant Sunday Showdown. But Pog will move on to play Gods in the finals. And this will be a best of three. Best of three finals. So exciting, exciting time.